Hello, this is Peter Newman. A couple of days ago I took a pipe and a valve that had a deliberate interference and uh, used the fault tolerant meshing to mesh the fluid region and uh, this was the result and this video I want to edit the mesh controls to make it fill up the gap between the uh, pipe and the valve and see just a little circular hole in the fluid where the uh, cylindrical face comes out through the pipe. So I have already saved this into the correct uh, FMD file format and uh, I have also started a standalone copy of Fluent so that I can go to the fault tolerant meshing and go through this workflow, the first of which is the CAD file which is on the E drive right here. Fluid with pipe. Uh, that's better. FMD, OK. And load. So now we see the geometries come in and the create the meshing zones. It's a internal flow. I will specify the capping regions. The cap is inlet and that is the in cap label and then there is an outlet which would be the pressure outlet for the out cap label. Then we get to identify regions and we're going to use the numerical inputs to put that material point uh, 10 millimeters inside the pipe. So there's the fluid and we can also define the pipe region as a solid void and um, pick the object pipe and then we can identify that and we also have a valve and that's a void and we can pick the valve from the object list. Uh, there is no leakage so we update that and then we update region settings and we see that we're going to have just a hex core volume fill in the fluid region and now we're going to uh, update and see what kind of um, mesh controls we get. Uh, one of them is proximity and that sounds like a promising thing to edit the default values and maybe uh, not sure what the dimension is uh, up there but 0.02 might be a good minimum size and scope to faces and edges and update. Uh, let's leave that for now and for a future video let's just see if we can get through this workflow and see some elements around the pin at the top of the valve. Just to remind you, we did that by editing the proximity setting. And I think we get to see this with the, here's the uh, fit, fit window. There we go. Now, there we go. That's what I was looking for. A better quality mesh around the hole. So mission accomplished. Uh, I will click the generate volume mesh and we will uh, call this a success. Thanks for watching.